Good morning everybody, welcome back to the channel. I hope everyone's having a fantastic day as always. Today's a special day because it's one of those days where I kind of find my, it's not even a day, it's like a weekend, where I find myself in a position that I'm gonna get to work on my race car. I don't got parts, they're on order, they're still in the mail, you know, next Christmas ground. I got parts on its way for this guy. We've got a thermoset and a water pump and a snub mount coming for it. Actually, that's a lie. This, the, we're gonna modify the B6's front snub to take a B5 one. You can't do that until we take off like the entire front end of the car, so. So essentially what you do is you take this and you take the factory one off and then you go whoot there, whoot there, smooth it out and a B5 one fits right up in there. So. That's a simple version of it. The S6 is so dead that I had to put it into essentially manual mode. And yeah, it's going finally. I want to see if this thing will start. We're just going to move it around. I got to know what it's doing and what it's thinking before I can really get into it. I know what everyone is saying. It might have a blown head gasket, but if I can drive it around and feel it's shifting funky, all right, then we've got something to work on. If I just take the thing apart and don't know if it runs, drives, and just go right after a head gasket, yeah, that's not a good idea. Like, it just won't play out well. So we got to get it to start and see what's what before we can do anything else. This thing right here, we've made some phone calls. I got to send an email to Precision Machine Shop in Jeffco, Missouri, and they're going to tell me whether or not this engine, if the crank is out. Oh, hold on. I'll show you. And they're going to tell me if this bit right here is a uh, toast my ghost to the point where that it when that bearing took a poo it chewed up the entire crank or not ah uh, then there's this thing the volkswagen jetta tdi short answer to this one it's supply and demand and the supply is limited and i'm pretty sure the demand is getting higher and higher because of engineered problems um yeah we're waiting on fuel injectors for this guy tools are in which we get to unbox today because i haven't unboxed them and i got them like a week ago all right what happened here Okay, so now it says it's got enough power that it's there. It recognizes it. So let's go with the... Let's start with a little rapid action. Ooh, let's see what this does. It might need a new battery. How old is this battery? I mean, 2016. Okay, so yeah, we're going to slow this thing down. Stop. Battery life, shelf life, most batteries. People say it's like around five years. I have personally had a battery that's eight years old. Um, worked fine. Kept working fine. Batteries are just another one of those things you gotta maintain and take care of. Learn about batteries. Anyway, uh, the shop is a full freaking blown disaster. My mom would say right now, it looks like Hurricane Katrina hit this place. So we're gonna do some cleaning. You gotta split some more firewood and yeah, let's get to it, to it. Let's get to, yeah. So what do we got in the boxes? Uh, this one right here is from Amazon. All right. Nice. So this is supposed to, yeah, fuel injector compatible with Audi new. So, so this kit right here is essentially the upgrade of this kit. This kit is like the baby version. The one we need is the big boy version, which has these right here. This stuff right here is all the big boy stuff. Um, basically this bit right here screws onto the fuel injector and then slides onto the end of a slide hammer screws onto the end of a slide hammer and boom you can pop the injectors right out here's the difference in cost this one was about ninety dollars it was nine it was like 89 90 something and then i got six dollars amazon off of it so it was like just a little over 80. this kit was like 40 bucks and you can instantly there's a difference so it looks like you still get all of these we're still getting all of these bits we got this we got that that we got these we got that thing that thing we got all these little bits here and here we got the cleaning brush this is for the older for, um, older injectors I believe this one is the um, I want to say Mark III, Mark IV TDIs. That's what this injector puller is for. It actually clips on a piece of the bottom, and then you push this thing off, and you go wham, and it comes right out. Um, this is the direct injector on like those engines over there. A lot of direct injected gasoline 
Audis and Volkswagens and whatever else you, yeah, that's made by Volkswagen. Um, and then this bit right here is just for the diesel. And this right here is the biggest thing that was missing. Uh, you can buy th just this if you wanted to uh, from like ECS or I think FCP Euro has a couple. There's also a couple different companies online and the price point ranges from $64 plus shipping all the way past $400. Not even kidding. It's ridiculous. The market's ridiculous. But I seen this kit on Amazon and I was like, you know what? I've already got it this way. I'd rather spend 90, like 80 bucks on it this way and have all and have this extra as well then like here spend 60 plus shipping which is still 80 and only get the slide hammer in these couple bits like it wasn't practical sorry this piece right here is like 45 to like i think it was like 200 ish dollars depending on how you like what quality who you bought it from yada yada so on and so forth like it's all of those things so since i had really good luck with this kid i was like you know what made by the same people let's give it a go and it's got the bits that i need in it so uh this is what we're going to use to take apart dom's tdi as soon as his injectors get here whenever they get here all right guys well it is day two that whole eight point something milliseconds difference of day one and day two mikey stopped by today yeah <laughs> and uh I find myself in a position to actually be able to work on my race car today. So I'm not going to really hold the camera. I'm just going to do what I need to get done to do. Juan a while back cut all these panels for me here. And that's my goal. I want to see if I can get this all mocked up, tacked in, and then we'll go about, we'll go about the whole stitch welding it and seam sealing it. So maybe we'll sand it and throw some paint on it. Adventurous. We decide to get so let's get to it Well, we are uh, coming along since I last actually checked in here. Check this shit out. So I kind of like pounded this edge over here, figured more the merrier, all the tack welds, all the tack welds. So my thought process here is, is I'm just gonna tack this all in, throw seam sealer, throw like body sealant, like you'd find in a normal car, all over all of this, cause none of it's structural. Like it's literally here. It's literally here just to direct fire in the event that there's fire. Like, the only reason all this is here is to separate the fuel tank and the back half of the car from the inside of the car. I don't need it otherwise. So, uh, that said, I figure I can just run some seam sealer down all this and then we'll throw some paint on it, put a little foil tape on it if we have any gaps we missed. I mean. I don't know about you guys, but I've walked around a lot of drift pits, and that's what I see a lot of. Mikey left. He just decided, oh, he's Audi. And uh, this guy shows up instead to do transmission things. Oh, you're putting fog lights in? Did you rob them off the other car? Figures. We're not going to need them for that. You don't need fog lights to drift. Uh, I mean, this is a good point. You do not need fog lights to drift, but you do need undercarriage LEDs. Yes. I Dude, that trying to, I'm trying to get this out so I can put that one in because, yeah, because this housing has a mounting bracket or it's got a clip broke off. So I'm just going to take this and put it in here. No, oh, I see, I see, I see my uh, son. Waste some, waste some time. Did that thing melted? Yeah, I know. 
back in the day, you could get those like Sylvania high intensity light bulbs, and they essentially drawed more power on the electrical system, which also made a lot more heat. And they would like melt headlight housings and stuff, but yeah, that's yeah, it's nice. They look just that's, like that. That's gnarly. That's wild. Woo, that was my finger. That's been an event back there. I don't know if a single clue of my hair looks like, but it can't be that bad. Uh, what's the problem, dude? I can't get on the bolt. What do you mean you can't get on the bolt? That one down there? Yeah. All right, so are you tapping out and saying you can't do it? No, or? I'm not tapping out. I mean, I had it on there once, but I couldn't get the ratchet on there. What is it? Is it an Allen or is it a 10 mil? What are we looking at? No, it's that. It's the 10 mil. It's a 10 mil? It's this thing is coming along. Look at that. Those are gonna be great. Throw a couple tack welds right in there, get that side down and just so it keep it from rattling. And then that's the next panel. And yo, it'll be done. Like, But yeah, hey, it's all, it's gotta get uglier before it looks good, all right? A lot uglier. There's still, there's a whole show of stuff that's gotta get done. How's it coming, Donnie? Uh, trying to get it on there. All right, cool. I'm gonna leave him alone. He's gonna mother F that thing some more, and um, I'm gonna get on to the next panel. All right, I'm in. Let's see what you got. So, you got the O-ring in, you say? Got it in. Line in? No, I got, I can't, I'm trying to get the line in. It doesn't want to go in. Oh, uh, okay, I'm not okay. To, I'm not trying to rip the O-ring, because um, back to square one yeah that's fair enough fair enough all right let's uh <coughs> we can get this this is easy oh dude where's the little hey it's over there i'll just go with you it's over there in the corner it's behind the bench grinder <laughs> really there you go all right, well, obviously he successfully got his transmission cooler line in, but we got this is like finito. I mean, I'm honestly kind of happy with how this turned out. It's a lot of tack welds, probably something in the neighborhood of a, how many things in there, Donnie? 273. 273, wow. That's a very specific number. I'm now kind of wanting to count them. <laughs> not really. <laughs> I'm not going to sit here and count them by no means. Um, what wasn't structural is definitely now structural. Like this is, uh, this is not going to come out very easily. But all we got to do now is put this little bit, put that piece right in there, throw some rivets through the corners of it, and yo, that's going to look perfect. Absolutely perfect. It's starting to look like a race car almost from this angle. That would be pretty cool. That would be pretty cool. Man, oh, speaking of fighter jets, bro, I just found out last night that you guys, you can buy a Harrier. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Come like, down. Come down. It's always, it's like $7.4 million and you can own a Harrier. I sent it to my uncle though. So that's, my, one of the, that's, that's one of the coolest jets ever. Oh, yeah. Ever. Okay. I sent it to my uncle who's a flight instructor and he told me, he was like, um, that's cool, except for those are the ones that killed a lot of people. Huh? Yeah, like they had, I guess, McDonnell Douglas or Boeing or whoever designed jets went in and said, no, we got to change a whole bunch of stuff. And they did a whole bunch of upgrades, spent like 30 billion U.S. tax dollars on making it right. And um, now we have the modern day Harrier that they're using currently probably in Ukraine. I I'm willing to bet NATO has some of them. And by the way, for those out there who are listening and watching this, I'm strictly saying this to see if we can trigger keywords in the AI because they're trending words right now. Oh, yeah. yeah. So we're going to test this. If this video goes to a million views, well, or even 100,000 views, and I use the keywords NATO and Ukraine in the key tags, we know why. Oh, yeah. <laughs> So don't take advantage, if you've watched this video to this far, if you uh, now you're gonna understand why the thumbnail is so clickbaity. Dude, I should do like a, take the whole back end of the car back here and just do like a B-52 bomber. 
Yeah. With like a bomb yeah. dropping on it, it'd be like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, while we're waiting for this thing to heat up, um, is it still leaking? You're at 172, all right. Go ahead, let's put this thing together. Here, hold this for me for a second, would you? All right, so this thing's easy, dude. All we gotta do, put that in there. There we go, now you got yourself a freaking siphon pump. $12, AutoZone. Mm-hmm, I know. Just right. don't use it for fuel. Yeah, don't use it for fuel. It says right on the side it, of it, it says, oil use only right there. <laughs> Donnie, know, Donnie and I know all about not using it for fuel, don't oh, yeah. we? Let's set. It's the easiest way to do it. Start pumping. Oh, start pumping. There you go. Huh? Where is it though? It's in the hole. Oh, Eventually. Best thing in the world right there, H17. That's Daryl ass brand for you. You pretty much get, like this stuff is not hard guys. I'm just reiterating it again. This guy came in with some basic tools, literally $9 worth from Walmart. And um, less of a floor jack, and the tool to tell you how hot the transmission is. Proof is in the pudding. You can do this. Hard, it's, the reality is the only reason he came out here to do this is because he needed a dry and warm place to do it. No, it was nothing. Oh, no, no, not just that. I did all my boys some money. Oh, well, yeah, there is that factor. Thank you for bringing me money. Oh, you see that? Oh. Let me hang in. I didn't see that. Ah! You good to go? Yeah, you're good to go. Uh, all right guys well i think that's what we're gonna call it a night we've had a lot of success had a lot of success today had a lot of friends stop by mikey donnie stopped by mikey stopped by donnie stopped by and um we got a lot of stuff done we got all this all we've talked about that all day but guys if you uh if you're finding value in this content and you want to see more just like it consider smashing that subscribe button all we do every day is figure out ways to save thousands of dollars working on people's shit boxes <laughs> finding officially finding time to work on the race car and well we finally ordered parts for this q5 just to prove that no bigger no matter how big or small the job is guys you can accomplish it this is all nuts and bolts so till next time thanks for watching thanks for subscribing i'm audi and donnie i'm audi Good night. Peace.